example number four in the laws of logarithms you've been told to solve the equation 2 log x minus 8 to base 9 plus log x to base 3 is equals to 2 so remember when you have log x to base y that is the same as log x over log y we said the base is the logarithm in the denominator if you have log x minus 8 to base 9 that will be the same as log x minus 8 over log 9 so the base is the logarithm in the denominator if you have log x to base 3 then that is the same as log x over log 3 the base is the logarithm in the denominator then 9 can be factorized in terms of 3 so 9 is the same as 3 squared log 9 is like you have log 3 squared so log 3 squared is the same as 2 log 3 so the power can be written as the coefficient so we want to solve the equation 2 log x minus 8 to base 9 plus log x to base 3 is equals to 2 so there we'll have log x minus 8 over log 9 the base is the logarithm in the denominator then plus log x over log 3 is equals to 2 so we have 2 log x minus 8 remember log 9 is the same as log 3 squared 9 can be factorized as 3 squared so log 9 will be log 3 squared then plus log x over log 3 so the task here is to ensure that we have the same base so remember log 3 squared is the same as 2 log 3 so we have 2 log x minus 8 over 2 log 3 so log 3 squared can be written as 2 log 3 then plus log 3 squared can be written as 2 log 3 then we have that is the first term then plus log x over log 3 to be equals to 2 now the task is to ensure we have the same base so the first term is over log 3 meaning to base 3 second term to base 3 so the other term we must also introduce log 3 over log 3 it is like introducing 1 because we are ensuring we have the same log in the denominator or the same base so 2 goes with the 2 we remain with the log x minus 8 to base 3 remember the log in the denominator is the base then plus log x to base 3 is equals to 2 log 3 to base 3 so remember log 3 to base 3 is 1 so let us simplify both sides of the equation on the left hand side of the equation if we factorize log outside the bracket the addition sign changes to multiplication so if we factorize the logarithm outside the bracket the addition sign changes to multiplication so we have log into base 3 in bracket x minus 8 times x then the other side the coefficient 2 becomes the power of 3 so we have log 3 to base 3 raised to power 2 in bracket so we can ignore the log on both sides of the equation then we expand on the left hand side of the equation x will multiply with the factor x minus 8 so on the left hand side of the equation we'll have x squared minus 8x is equals to 9 so that is now quadratic so we'll have x squared minus 8x minus 9 is equal to 0 so you can use any method to solve that in my case I've used factorization so I'll have x squared minus 9x plus x minus 9 is equal to 0 so if you like you can use quadratic formula to solve for x so there we'll have x into x minus 9 plus 1 into x minus 9 is equals to 0 so it means we have x plus 1 as the first factor 
or x minus 9 is equal to 0. So the first factor there is that either x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0. So our x will be negative 1 or 9. So that is how to solve logarithmic equations with the different bases.